This is another sleepers episode of Goodfella Nail, Nail Goodfella. I got um an old pickup, a new but old pickup. Y'all just now seeing this. This is one of my kicks from 2018. I want to shoot the review over, you know what I mean? Just to get it right, you know, like I just want to do it over anyway, you know, just to give it a more fresh look. Um and just to kind of keep it a little bit shorter too, man. I don't want to be doing those crazy like long videos. So I'm gonna try to watch out and really, really watch my time and get what I gotta get out too, man. So, anyway, let's get off into this. Um, got these kicks for a crazy steal. I think I got it for 63 bucks. Now remind you, I got these in 2018, right when the uh, fall, middle to end of fall. I think I got them from finish line. Yes, I sure did. Retail <clears throat> The price I actually got them for was for $64.78 Man, YouTube just been so wild lately all the drama all that other stuff Whatever whatever it is what it is. But anyway, this is the Air Max 93 and y'all know y'all could come here to get a non hype kick in y'all feed y'all about to see something regular something normal a regular gr these should still be lingering a little bit but i haven't really seen them lingering as of late but this is the air max 93 like i just said the white blue nebula and total orange boys crazy 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 air fly and now that i actually got these now i'm actually thinking about the jordan 5 international joints that i got now and uh yeah that whole nyx like colorway, I don't know what kind of portal warp or whatever I fell into, man. That whole white, blue, and orange has been really popping to me, at least around this time or, or lately. You know what I mean? So, like, I actually got another kick, another runner that's actually white like this. It's not even a Nike, but another runner, white, blue, and orange. But we across that bridge when we get there. Also, too, man... You don't really too much hear anything about these this kind of kick. You just recently heard some about the Air Max 93 menthol joints because they actually re retro these for the 2018 year for the whole Air Max day with the Air Max 180. And then they actually simulated this. They actually put this menthol colorway on the Air Max 270, which is definitely fly and flames. But this is the 2014 version. I still want to get the 2018 version, so I still check around for that. This is the 2014 version. You can actually see where it's starting to slightly yellow and everything. I might just get rid of these once I get my 2018 versions in or whatever, how I'm going to do it. But, yeah. So, just a quick comparison. I'm going to do it as well. So, these are also a lot more sleeker, too. Just a quick overview and a quick opinion. Y'all know what I do. Obviously, you do have that... Um, if I'm not mistaken, this might be a 120 Air Max bubble. <clears throat> then you got like that felt Cheeto orange for the, like that New York Knicks bright orange. Now it's not a royal blue. You got more like that gel like blue going on the back. Kind of almost look like a water blue, that Gatorade water blue. And, um, along the swoosh, obviously you can see that as well. And, uh... The air bubble definitely flames, and at the bottom, that screams Knicks as well. Also, too, I still be thinking about the old calves, too. You know what I mean? Back in the 90s with the whole white, blue, and orange, and a little bit of black. So, yeah. <clears throat> also, running along the shoe, you do got that neoprene. Nice, you know, that definitely had you in for that nice, secure hug fit. So, you don't even need to lace the sneaker all like that, providing you get the right size, size shoe. And uh, the neoprene booty on the inside actually holds and locks down your foot now word is that the air max 93 is tinker hatfield favorite so i'm getting shoe and sneaker i just crashed those words that's why i just stuttered right there but that's his favorite sneaker um that's what i've heard and um yeah man these are definitely flames and fire and see the thing is it's like you know I'm definitely a sucker for like Nike heritage models and what I mean by Nike heritage models I'm talking about models that just came out back in the day 
that just made the most sense, man. Like that was actually iconic. That actually was taking it, even if it they just improved it just a little bit that next year. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was just taking a brand to the next level, running to the next level, and all that, man. So this is more true to the OG as far as sleekness go, but you still got like that bloated toe from the 2014 version. Again, that's why I want to get the 2018 version because another thing too, you know, the air bubbles get all foggy and everything, and the 2018 one will live a little bit longer than this one by because it's four years younger so and when this one four years older so you got the same thing on this one though you got the neoprene and everything so basically almost true but the mesh is one of the big things that actually changed on the retros as of late so nike has been keeping this more og and this one has just been like just a retro for the 2014 time you got that hard mesh right here and then you got that soft mesh this is the this is the kind of mesh you needed now the menthol one should feel like this as well now the only thing i do hate about this one is that this does not feel like actual like leather it feels more like not plastic like but the 2014 menthol actually feels better it actually feels like more real leather even though this is not the best leather neither but um the paneling right here just feel like it's like painted over it almost feel kind of cheap in a way but it's still not a deal breaker because the sneakers actually still comfortable and they still look nice so texture and all that stuff to the side these steel flames also want a few more colorways of the air max 93 as well um the hibernero joints look cool um y'all know i welcome the character process on my sneakers but yeah tell me what you guys think though like are y'all actually into the heritage models are y'all into the air max 93 in this particular colorway or another colorway and again what i mean by heritage models is the models the air max one the air max 90 i guess you know and it's sneakers outside of the air max lineup that actually is a heritage model too like the nike air safari or something like that so um I just feel like these kicks are more important. This was a GRS set, and I just waited till I got the deal. And what's the chances of you seeing somebody wearing this? A regular civilian or a non-sneakerhead is wearing the, um, they're wearing a Nike Air Max 270. Um, I don't know what they might wear this year, you know? Again, you know, we got a little bit of snow outside on the ground so you know everybody not too much sneaker ready anymore all like that so they probably still wearing boots but I got a feeling people still gonna carry the Air Max 270 out into this this year as well because I mean that big bubble on the back is definitely fly but all those colorways that's coming out they definitely just you know max mass producing mass color in that shoe mass yeah all that stuff but also on the inside of this one though you do have that international branding along the inside right here um, but yeah I've just been holding out patience is key patience is key y'all so it's like you know I could have bought these at $90 or one what's the regular price 130 plus tax but uh, I already knew these was going to go down anyway because, you know, everybody else on the other hype kick, they ain't on nothing like this. Nice, quick, easy, and simple. You know what I mean? Nothing that that's, that's going to break the bank. And to be truthful with you, I think I don't even, I still haven't even really wore these yet. But um, these definitely would be nice for the the spring summer a little bit of the fall but I wouldn't I wouldn't try to take a chance on wear this out and even in the light winter or whatever like a light snow all like that like unless it's like just flakes coming down but the snow hasn't accumulated yet you know what I mean like it's not even so bad where you can't even see your footprints like you know you don't make footprints it's just the normal ground and then blah 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 I might wear these then but other than that though um, spring right around the corner the years be just flying by so quick man and uh, definitely happy about my pickup let me know if you again let me know if y'all got this you know uh, because uh, not this is not really a sought-after 
You know, you gotta have a particular taste to, and kicks to actually mess with that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, and I'm just noticing the slight differences now right here. They got Neo Morse steel neoprene going along the tongue on this. And then they got mesh going along the tongue on this blue one. You know, blue and white. So, yeah, that's basically it. I love it. Flames, fire. What I get from this sneaker. Cheeto orange filling, New York Knicks slash calves throwback. Got that orange soda popping all around the side with that blue Gatorade. As far as what I wear these with, you know, you keep it simple with some black jeans. You know, maybe uh, some washed, uh, blue washed jeans as well. These are definitely look crispy on feet. Fly, flames, all that stuff. So, that's my review for tonight and my talk for tonight as well. And that's just my opinion on the Air Max 93. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Stay tuned as well. I got more sneaker vids on the way, more talk vids, and uh, another clothing vid uh, or two. So, I'm out.